Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Dr. Abdur Rafi here again. So as we have discussed gypsum bonded and silica bonded investment materials. So today in this video we will discuss about the phosphate bonded investment materials. For the start of the topic if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe it for the update of my new videos. So the phosphate bonded materials, first of all the contents that phosphate bonded materials contains are these materials consist of a powder that contains silica that is refractory material, magnesium oxide and ammonium phosphate. On mixing this powder with water or colloidal silica solution. Keep remember this in mind that uh, this powder can be mixed with water as well as with the colloidal silica solution. I will tell uh, later in this video what this colloidal silica solution do. A reaction between the phosphate and oxide occurs to form magnesium ammonium phosphate. So now look at this equation. This is ammonium phosphate. It reacts with magnesium oxide and undergoes hydrolysis. Then it forms magnesium ammonium phosphate. This compound here is the bound binder in phosphate bonded materials. So now look. It goes the formation of magnesium ammonium phosphate involves the hydration and followed by crystallization similar to that in gypsum. Now the binder. As I said earlier in this video magnesium ammonium phosphate acts as a, acts as a binder in phosphate bonded materials. This compound binds the silica together to form the set investment mold. Now the important properties of phosphate bonded materials. So phosphate bonded materials undergoes all three types of expansions that I mentioned earlier in the previous videos that are normal setting expansion, thermal expansion and hygroscopic expansion. Thermal expansion also includes the inversion expansion due to refractory materials. Now I'm going to tell you guys that uh, what colloidal solution does do. Uh, the use of colloidal solution of silica instead of water for mixing with the powder has the dual effect. There are two effects of this colloidal silica solution that are increasing the setting expansion and strengthening the set material. So the two functions of colloidal silica solution are increase setting expansion and strengthening of set material. Now at a temperature of about 3 degree, 300 degree centigrade ammonia and water are liberated by the reaction. Now look at this reaction. This is magnesium ammonium phosphate. So at 300 degree centigrade it evaporates water and ammonia and leaves behind magnesium phosphate. So uh, this compound. So at a higher temperature some of the remaining phosphate which is here in this compound with oxygen and magnesium. So at a higher temperature some of the remaining phosphate reacts with silica and then it forms the complex called silicophosphate. It has advantage that these silicophosphates increase the strength of the set material. 
now there are two types of phosphate bonded investments uh, can that can be identified as follows that are number one is that is for inlays crowns and other fixed restorations and type 2 is for partial dentures and other cost removal restorations 